Tomo News presents Elon Musk. Elon Musk is now dabbling in boring machines. The man behind Tesla and SpaceX has set his sights on another venture, Boring. The goings-on behind Elon Musk's Boring Company were recently unveiled after a SpaceX employee shared a photo of the company's tunnel boring machine on Instagram. A boring machine excavates tunnels with a giant circular cutter head. The machine is designed to bore through anything from hard rock to sand. Elon Musk says he wants to build up to 30 levels of underground tunnels for cars and high-speed trains such as the Hyperloop. Musk has said his boring company would create a trillion jobs in the future. We certainly hope that's true. Musk bids to build Windy City Express Pods. Sick of sitting in Chicago traffic day in, day out? Elon Musk may be able to help out with that. Elon Musk's boring company has put in a bid to build an express transit link between O'Hare Airport and downtown Chicago. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel announced the city would be accepting proposals to build an express service from the airport to downtown last Wednesday. Musk tweeted the announcement, saying the boring company will compete to fund, build and operate a high-speed loop connecting Chicago O'Hare Airport to downtown. The loop would be a system of tunnels underneath the city that would use electric pods rather than a vacuum tube like the Hyperloop concept. The proposed route would be less than 20 miles and would need to take less than 20 minutes. The Boring Company will need to present plans on design, finance, construction, operation and maintenance of the loop system. No taxpayer money will be made available for the project. Maryland gives Elon Musk a nod to begin Hyperloop project. If you build it, they will ride it. Maryland officials have given Elon Musk's The Boring Company the green light to dig tunnels for a Hyperloop project between New York and Washington. The Boring Company plans to dig a 10.3-mile tunnel between the state-owned section of the Baltimore-Washington Parkway, between the Baltimore City Line and Maryland 175 in Hanover. The company has developed tunneling machines that can efficiently drill through soft soil at only a fraction of the cost of traditional tunneling. According to Musk's estimates, a Hyperloop trip between Washington and New York would only take 29 minutes. The Boring Company wants to construct two 35-mile tunnels between Baltimore and Washington. The 10-mile section approved by Maryland will be the first section of the underground system. Three, two, one, blast off. SpaceX is all set to launch the world's most powerful rocket into deep space and with it a most unusual cargo, Elon Musk's own car. The Falcon Heavy rocket features three Falcon 9 engine cores that are powered by 27 Merlin engines. Instead of concrete or steel blocks that act as mass simulators, the rocket's payload will be a red Tesla Roadster. The Falcon Heavy is designed to get large payloads into space and opens up the possibility of sending manned missions to the moon or Mars. The powerful vehicle has 2,500 tons of thrust on liftoff, equal to 18 Boeing 747s at full throttle. Its maiden flight is scheduled for late January. A lot of risk is associated with the rocket, which could blow up on ascent. If successful, the Tesla Roadster will be sent into Mars orbit, where it will remain for a billion years. On top of this, SpaceX is also aiming to land and recover all three of the Heavy's first stage cores. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Dow Jones reported that lawmakers have been informed about the apparent destruction of a secretive payload, codenamed Zuma, after being taken into space on a recent SpaceX launch. The payload reportedly may have burned up in the atmosphere after failing to separate correctly from the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX plans to launch thousands of Internet satellites. SpaceX has filed an application with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to launch thousands of satellites in order to provide high-speed Internet coverage worldwide. SpaceX's satellite system consists of two sub-constellations of space stations. The first, known as the LEO constellation, would be comprised of 4,425 satellites in an orbit of at least 1,150 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service up to 43.95 degrees away from Boresight. The second, Velio constellation, would include 7,518 satellites, orbiting about 335.9 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service of up to 51.09 degrees from Boresight. 
The satellites in the LEO constellation can cover approximately 4.5 million square kilometers, while those in the VLEO constellation can cover less than one-tenth of that area. The system is designed to provide broadband and communication services for private and professional users worldwide. The deployment of the satellites is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2024. Tesla to build the world's largest battery. Tesla has signed an agreement with the state government of South Australia, promising to build the world's largest lithium-ion battery there in just 100 days, or it's free of charge. Tesla will build a 100-megawatt battery at Hornsdale Wind Farm near Jamestown in South Australia. The project will be 60% larger than battery systems in Southern California. The lithium-ion battery is comprised of several hundred power pack towers, which will store renewable energy generated by wind turbines. The battery could power 30,000 homes during peak usage hours, as well as provide backup power if there's a shortfall. The venture is part of Tesla's endeavors to promote the transition to sustainable energy. The company has previously released similar clean energy products, such as the Solar Roof, Solar City, and Gigafactory. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. SpaceX launches world's first all-electric satellites. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket has successfully launched the world's first all-electric satellites, which are lighter than conventional chemical propulsion satellites and therefore cost less to launch. The Falcon 9 rocket carrying two all-electric Boeing 702 SP satellites was launched at around 10.50 p.m. Sunday. The satellites were stacked inside the nose cone of the rocket. Unlike other satellites, they do not need a special dual payload adapter system. A conventional satellite with similar capabilities weighs more than 8,000 pounds. Since the Boeing 702 SP satellite does not have a fuel tank, it weighs about 37% less. The Boeing 702 SP satellite uses ion thrusters, which push electrically ionized xenon gas through thrust chambers to propel the spacecraft. A downside of using ion thrusters is that it will take months instead of weeks for the satellites to reach their operational orbits. The satellite's operators, UTELSAT and Asia Broadcast Satellite, each paid less than $30 million for the launch, an incredibly low price for the launch of a communications satellite. SpaceX ready to launch the world's most powerful rocket. SpaceX has announced it will launch its Falcon Heavy rocket later this year. In the first stage of the launch, three reusable nine-engine cores are used to send the Falcon Heavy into orbit. Here, the rockets use more than two million kilograms of thrust before to detach and return to the launch site. The central rocket delivers the payload into orbit. According to SpaceX, the payload can be delivered to points in different levels of orbits. 
SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has low expectations for the first Falcon Heavy launch, reportedly saying he doesn't think it'll reach orbit. Where are the costumes? Elon Musk attended a party at a Silicon Valley investor's house that got a little out of hand. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO said he attended the now infamous sex party at investor Steve Jerviston's residence, but that he didn't see anything naughty. Apparently, Musk thought it was going to be a costume party. He was at the party for a few hours and bounced around 1 a.m. after talking some shop. The party was mentioned in a Vanity Fair piece from Emily Chang's new book, Brotopia, about Silicon Valley's male-dominated culture. In Chang's account, an anonymous Jane Doe said she saw a bunch of people cuddling and was offered some powdered goodies. In November, Jerviston parted ways with his venture firm, Draper Fisher Jerviston, and took leave from the boards of Tesla and SpaceX, following an internal investigation.